And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Teemo Aphelios. So um, I wanted to play a Puffcap deck. It's been a while since we played a Puffcap deck. Teemo Ezreal is kind of the popular Puffcap deck these days. Um, but I, I was just kind of thinking, I was like, I don't know if that's like really the best way to play Puffcaps. And then of course, you know, you have Aphelios, which is the strongest champion. And I thought, what if we have like puff caps with Aphelios, right? So what if we can, what if we play the strongest champion and yet still have these puff caps? The reason why I wanted to play puff caps is because lots of people are drawing cards, a lot of twisted fates and pick a cards and, um, you know, card advantage kind of decks that are also kind of slower decks. And so I wanted to see how puff caps would do. And so we're going to combine these two together. This deck was really difficult to build because there is probably, you know, 80 cards that we could we could play um, and we had to cut it down to 40. There's so many good options everywhere in these two regions and it was really difficult to um, trim this down. So we'll see how this goes. But this deck can definitely be um, customized if, you know, I know a lot of people don't like Aftershock as much as I do. If you want to play some other removal spells, you want to play some Thermogenic Beam, some more Gotcha, more, more Mystic Shot, anything else you can. Um, but kind of going through here, like Rummage, Spacey Sketcher, um, like I'm just kind of name some cards that I really wanted to play. Um, you know, even just playing like another Iterative Improvement or more Guiding Touch, Mystic Shot, Pale, Pale Cascade, like that kind of stuff. Like we just don't have very many of those. Um, super cool star chart I thought would be, you know, a really nice addition because with this, like we want to play a lot of spells, right? Like we're, we're built around Puff Cat Peddler. We want to have a lot of spells. We also want multiple spells each turn for Aphelios and for Veiled Temple. Another, so basically another thing I was kind of thinking here is that Veiled Temple getting you the extra mana allows you to play more cards and that could be awesome with Puff Cat Peddler having more mana to play more cards. That means more Puff Caps. And of course with Aphelios, uh, you don't run out of Moon Weapons. We're going with the Gifts from Beyond to level, try to level up our Aphelios. Gifts from Beyond also, you know, great with Puff Cat Peddler. Um, and it will get the two drop in hand, you know, put the two drops into play, which will be the Ballistic Bot, which will create the Ignitions. Also great with Peddler. Um, I thought that this, this kind of deck could have a lot of cool synergies like that. Um, but so many cool cards to play. Even like Veteran Investigator, this would be a, a nice two drop to put into play with your moon weapons later on in the game whenever they have a lot of puff caps and draw cards. But again, I couldn't really find room for it. And I think I wanted to make sure that we were hitting Ballistic Bot first. But, you know, that's something cool that you could do. Um, yeah, so so many great cards to play in these regions. Hard to, hard to knock it down to 40. But we're going to try this. And we'll see how it goes and should be a lot of fun. So Timo Aphelios. We'll head on over to ranked. All right, playing against Twisted Fate Fizz. They draw lots of cards. The main thing here is we have to stay alive. Stay alive from these elusives. That's going to be the hard part. Can we do that? Um, I'm going to keep all of these. Obviously, we're keeping Teemo. We're keeping Teemo with some less vigor. I think I like the Chump Lump to level up Teemo, um, but maybe maybe we don't actually keep that. Yeah, actually, maybe we don't keep that because we do want to find Aphelios and stuff too. So gifts from Beyond. Um, we'll keep gifts. Oh. That's rough for my Teemo. It's rough for my Teemo. Hmm. I'm gonna save the spell man instead of playing Teemo. No, I don't think I want to spell Thief a uh, Poro Cannon. But I don't know. Maybe maybe that's what I should be doing. So if I if I do spell Thief a Poro Cannon, yuck. That's what I want. I want Ballistic Bot. All right, just a second. Can you improve perfection? 
All right, what we got? It's it's the uh, quarterly pest control people that are here to to you know to spray the in insecticide and stuff like that around the house. Yes, Harvey, you're you're cool too. More poro cannons. So our Veil Temple can start growing our Teemo next turn. So I think I go like Veil Temple. Let's see. Definitely Veil Temple, and then maybe like Guiding Touch plus Spell Thief. Join me if you want to live. We're gonna have to start getting um, Life Steal Moon weapons pretty soon. Another Teemo. That's kind of better. I can just play the Mushroom Cloud to buff up this Teemo instead of playing the Spell Thief. You make that thing a 4-4? It only cost them 2 mana. I wish I could have 2 mana suit up. That's a good suit up. That was a really good suit up. So I think our chances of winning this game went down dramatically with that suit up. I guess if I would have blocked the 4-2, I guess I could have tried to keep it alive and, you know, give it the plus one, plus one. So I hope they don't have the burn spells to kill me. My plan is next turn play Calibrum, then play Aphelios, get Severum for Lifesteal, then Severum the Aphelios and attack. That's my plan for next turn. Oh, it's taking their time. Maybe somebody came to their door. Deal me in. Soak it in. Hey, stop. I'm choosing the, the Graviton because I don't want them to know about my plan for Severum. Thanks, Andre. Thank you. Yeah, we probably don't win this. They had a, you know, like that, the Poro Cannons were really good against me. That suit up, that suit up, like, changed this game completely. Um, no, we, we probably don't win this from here. No. No. The brighter my light, the stronger your shadow. Oh, it's much 
Well, I'm really glad they used the Mystic Shot there, because Mystic Shot was a card that, if they just block a Mystic Shot their blocker, I don't heal my Nexus, and, you know, like, that That means I probably lose, so I'm happy to see that there. Yeah, I mean, if, if they just have all three Mystic Shots, I lose anyway, but, like, they... These are not good Mystic Shots. And unless they have all three, this is not good Mystic Shots. Okay, stopping huge, huge overwhelm units is going to be tough, but we got Aphelios, so we got a chance. Do I keep the second Dustbringer? Obviously, Dustbringer, Aphelios, that's great. Um, don't think I need the second Dustbringer. We're going to be needing our lifesteal again from our Aphelios. Because we're going to play Dust Petal Dust, which will be a creative card. Man, we got lots of Aphelios. The, the thing about this is I'm probably going to be just, like, blocking with Aphelios. And not minding that too much because we can we can just have more. It's, like, Severum or Gravitum. I think Gravitum. Start with. Okay, got rid of a 7-6 Overwhelm. That's good. 7-6 Overwhelm was going to be a pain. don't have like a harsh winds or something like that if I want to make another moon weapon I gotta you know play both moon weapons here for my first two cards I hope they play a follower for my gravitum basically any any follower will do never mind that was not a good follower for them to play Whenever I said any follower will do, I guess I was being disingenuous. That follower would not do. I hate 
having my Ballistic Bot die. I don't know if this is all going to work. This is all worth it. I don't, I don't like this. But I mean, it, it is two champions. Like, if, if this does work, it is two champions. They're just left with three cards left. That could be really good on the Ice Veil Archer for a future turn. Well, that's game winning. I needed this because I, I needed to play Aphelios and then get Life Steal and then put it on here. Man. This is, this is rough. forgot about this thing having quick attack. So if I would have just let that happen, this would have my... Oh, yeah, because this thing like a Aphelios would have died. Aphelios would have had quick attack, and I put the Severon on it. Oh, so that's what I should have done. Yeah. As darkness falls, the moon rises. Okay, never mind. It was three out of four. Okay, never mind. So it wasn't leveled up. Okay, never mind. All right, everything's okay. Yeah. Yeah, everything's okay. I mean, by everything's okay, I mean we're certainly, we are completely dead, but. That was a pretty crazy good draw. No. Okay. Their draw was pretty crazy good too. Control champ. All right, GGs. Definitely feel like I could have put myself in a better position to win that game than what I did. Okay, so we've had it. We've had some tough luck losses here. Some losses where our opponents just keep on having uh, really good cards for for the situation. It's been um, it's been frustrating. I don't think I've put myself in the best position to win. I mean, just you know, hindsight, right? Hindsight's twenty twenty. It's it's a lot easier to you know look back at it hindsight wise and think okay we could have done this or this Flesh was weak, but look at me now. Can you improve perfection? I think I want to play the peddler That was not Nightfall. Have a mushroom. Have three. I've heard about you. So they didn't they didn't create a moon weapon because it wasn't Nightfall. Alright, what's going on here? Is this Diana? Doom Beast? So that creates a moon weapon. Okay. 
Kill the Felios. That's good. And that's a that's a pretty decent card to spell thief. Can you improve perfection? I may want to play Aftershock this turn, so I'm probably not... So I'm not going to lead with Ballistic Box. We may need to Aftershock. If they have another Aphelios. My, my worst case scenario is that, you know, they have the... Oh, that's also really bad. I was going to say that they got the Moon Weapon that does 3 damage, and they deal 3 damage to my Peddler. It would have been great to have last game, last game hush against the overwhelm deck with troll chance and stuff. Hmm. Well, humanity is obsolete. Only a fool would enter battle unprepared. Temperamental as moon. Texas with a donation deck. Thresh, Trundle, Feel the Rush. That sounds really cool. All right, so let me write these down. So we've had two donation decks here. Um. So it's not Diana. I'm glad for that. We're going to have a lot of Ballistic Bonds. Sure. They only heal their Nexus for three, so, you know, whatever. <clears throat> Ooh, that's a nice Veil Temple. We can spell thief their life steal. Ah, so they didn't even play two spells for the veil temple. But yeah, they and waste all the man. They just didn't have two spells. <clears throat> this is a pretty good combination. Yeah, <laughs> it's just all those all those things. Each one getting those puff caps. All right, Teemo Ophelios, Moon Weapons for Ballistic Bonds and Puff Cap Peddler. All right, same kind of deck. I don't know if it's the same opponent or not, but same region, same champions. So this would be doing nothing until Peddler on three, and then Chump Wump on four, and then multiple Mushroom Clouds on four. I mean, they're all they're all good cards, but it's a little slow. It's a little slow setup, but it's also not like Aphelios and Veil Temple like those kind of cards either. So maybe I just mulligan all these, keep the Peddler, and kind of see if you yeah, find like those kind of cards. Um, hey, Edenic, I don't have a specific recommendation myself for a new player. In this game, it's this game. Uh, this game has lots of lots of uh, um, decks you can play. There aren't any like specific got to play this kind of deck um, kind of things with this game, which is which is one reason why it's awesome. Um, so, as far as you know, what what you what to play, you know, you can kind of play anything kind of thing. Um, there is this resource here from Reddit with. Uh, like a welcome to new players resource thing that maybe this will 
this also helps out and people in chat maybe have some really good recommendations um, mayhaps I think I want Crescendum to start with Killing that before they play this other moon weapon and make, then make a new moon weapon and, you know, go crazy with moon weapons. Because, yeah, they had a real good setup there. Gosh. This is probably the best four turns I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, that's that should be game. So how much mana did they spend in, in the, those first four turns? Four... Six, eight, uh, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen mana. They had they had six free mana. Yeah. So, actually, maybe more. So then maybe more than that. Yeah, that was that was incredible. Yeah, I'm just pretty dead. Cause like I need to get my Veil Temple in play, but I'm just pretty dead. I guess I just don't have time. Play like Peddler or Crescendum. Yep. That was maybe the best four turn first four turns I've ever seen ever. I think that's yeah, like that was just absolutely incredible. Not that I know about. As far as I know, Mobilitics is working just fine. Draven Ezreal. I don't think... I mean, I feel like our deck's pretty good. Our opponents have been running really hot, though, and that's just that's just going to be part of it, right? So it looks like, you know, 1 and 3, you're like, oh, man, our deck's not very good. We're 1 and 3, but it's... No, our opponents have... You know, we've ran into three really hot opponents, and that... That's life, you know? That that was me. I, I definitely could have waited. I thought about that. With Thermogenic Beam. Some Blessed Figure being the two mana. Oh... Too bad. Looks like that was the card they just drew. But our our most important card is Puffcat Peddler, and we still have that. Yuck! That's that's going to hit me for a lot of damage. being greedy here spending two mana instead of just taking the pass because i don't know if, if i take the pass they just attack that's a little rough hmm. tribeam and probulator that gets the four drop already if they yeah this could just be game <laughs> you know like now now because i i played that 
If they have something else that does damage to this Puff Cat Peddler, this is game. Oh my gosh. A 5-5? Five five? Yeah, this is just game. Man, we are just having... There's opponents that are really running hot. That's that's pretty awesome. Sure, waste my time. They probably just have Captain Farron on turn eight also. Sometimes things work for you, and sometimes they just don't. Nothing like the great outdoors. Armed and ready. The goal objective of our deck, just to to have a bunch of really good spells to play with Puff Cap Peddler, give them a bunch of Puff Caps for these um, slower decks we have not, um, not fared too well, though. Incredible. This is, it felt like, like some of those games, and this, you know, this just happens sometimes. Some some of those games, like it really felt like our opponents had like, like the, their entire 40 card deck in their hand and they got to choose what, what would be the absolute best card to have. And they just had it the entire game. And um, yeah, so it's, it's frustrating. It was, um, you know, us, Getting destroyed. Those, especially those last two, uh, but even the, the the first two also that we lost. But especially those last two, it just you, you can't have it any better. You know, like it's it's incredible. So good games, opponent. Um, I think our our deck felt pretty good. We went one and four, but that's that's you know. That's why you can't just like look at the records. I, you know, it's, it's sometimes about how how the deck feels. I think our deck felt pretty good. Um, our our opponents were just running on the you know like top two percent of possibilities, <laughs> right? Like you know, so it's we're not we're just you know like they're just kind of the, the kind of hands that you just don't beat. But um, you know, they're they're like top like you know like one out of you know one out of fifty hands kind of thing. Just every every question that I had, they had the exact answer. Or that game four was insane, of spending fourteen or sixteen mana on turn four. Um, but yeah, I liked I liked how our deck looked. I liked gifts from beyond with ballistic bot with puff cat peddler. Some things about our deck: our deck is slow to slow to set up, and if and you know like so it's so that's a thing. So we are kind of slow to set up. Um, we are kind of relying on Severum of for staying alive. Um, one card that I didn't fit in that I really wanted to that, you know, like I, t I talked about before, there's, there's 80 cards we could fit in the stack. So there's definitely some, some wiggle room to change out cards. Um, uh, like for example, star shaping was one that I really wanted to fit in here, but I, I didn't have room for, but star shaping would have been really nice. The, basically the reason why I didn't fit star shaping in here was because, um, some of the, you know, like the heal, heal the Nexus five would have been great to have access to. Um, but the, the powerful celestial cards that you're getting with this usually is like the nine, you know, like the nine mana one or the seven mana one for the the you know not the units but the spells. The spells need you to behold another celestial, and we just weren't really playing other other celestials. But may, that is something that we could go. Maybe you can try to fit more celestials in here with cards like um, Spacey Sketcher or even uh, Super Cool Star Chart and things like that. Um, you know, it's it's hard. Like, I don't I don't think we can really fit in like Sol Solari Priestess with us having like these other threes. Um, but you know, maybe you can find some more ways to f 
fit in some more celestial cards uh, to be able to help enable star shaping. But star shaping could be a really nice card um, in here. But it, it felt like our so some of those games it really felt like we were just kind of you know getting too many too many expensive cards in hand and weren't able to cast enough stuff per turn, which is kind of weird considering we stop at four. Um, Chump Wump didn't look very good, right? Like this, this looked kind of too, too slow. Um, you know, maybe that, maybe that should be something cheaper. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I think we could probably run this back and go four and one and, you know, play, play another five games and go four and one, but that's just like the small sample. Um, yeah, our opponent's. Our opponents had some great hands, but lots of lots of good quality cards you can play in this type of deck. So figuring out those cards, um, you know, that's that's the tough part. Um, so those those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and you know, feel free to mess around with the deck. Feel free to to play different cards that you want to play. Um, like we talked about thermogenic. So here's just like some other options: thermogenic beam. Honestly, death ray is really not that bad these days, um, but you know. Uh, Spacey Sketcher, if you want more of any of the cards that are already in the deck. Um, even, I wonder if, I wonder if, like, Eager Apprentice is good in here. Getting the extra mana. We saw that with the game four of my opponent getting, like, the Nightfall card and getting the extra mana with the Nightfall card and how insane that looked. Um, but I guess we could play that card, too. Um, the Sky Shadows, but... Um, that was it was pretty crazy being able to cast so many so many cards so fast with that. Um, get excited could add in some good versatility. We usually have like some cards that you don't necessarily mind discarding. Talk about super cool star chart being really good in here. I don't know, so many cards to play, but not nearly enough time. <laughs> anyway, that's Timo Aphelios. Uh, tough one to build, tough one to play, and man, hopefully, you'd... if you want your opponents to, to not have perfect hands whenever you're playing Ballistic Bot, Puff Cat Peddler, you want a slower game, you want the game dragged out, you're going to win the long games. Our opponents, though, had amazing hands, and we did not get to long games. So that's that's the goal of this kind of deck, is how can how can you best get to long games with these cards? How can you slow your opponents down, stay alive? Um, elongate the game. All right, but that's all I got here for this one. So uh, those on YouTube, uh, leave those comments. Let me know uh, what you think about the deck and everything like that. I would appreciate that. All right, but that's that's all I got here for this one. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.